talking about going up to the farm for Thanksgiving. You think he knows? He has no idea the sacrifice he's going to make for our culinary pleasure. I'm ready to make an offer. And we're ready to hear one. I think you should know, though, the property actually belongs to our son. How do you think $65,000 would sound to your son? Like a lot of money. You know, Hattie left this farm to me. Now, if you're trying to tell me you want to sell it, then the answer is no. I don't want to sell. What? Oh, thank you. Well, you know, if I uh, end up in debtor's prison this year, it's going to be because of some ungrateful chickens. I beg your pardon. Hey, look at this. All these bills here. They're from work done at the farm. Here, look at that one. For repair of roofing and downspout. $400? I thought we fixed that last year. No, that was the house. This year it's the barn. Every year it's going to get worse. You know what I'd like to do? Go up there for Thanksgiving. You beat this Thursday? Well, we can fly up tomorrow, kill two birds with one stone, have a nice holiday, and see what kind of shape the place is really in. Oh, I don't know, Doug. Mr. and Mrs. Bates will be there. They always go to Portland to visit her sister. I mean, some of the best Thanksgivings we've had were at the farm. I'm sorry, I forgot. You haven't been up there since your mother died. Maybe it's not such a good idea. I mean, holidays are bad enough. No, that's all right. Maybe we should look around. See if we can find a buyer. Maybe it's time we thought about selling the place. Sell the farm? Oh, no, we can manage. The farm is your home. This is my home. What if you say so? Aren't we forgetting something? Willie. Hattie left the farm to him. I think we should discuss it with him. Let's just play it by ear. After all, no one may be interested in buying. And then uh, when Willie sees it again, he may find his attachment has changed. Well, I have my doubts, but uh, you call Mrs. Bates? I'll tell the kids. Go to jail, go directly to jail. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. Ah, uh, I got you right where I want you now. If I could have your attention for a minute. Well, since I'm behind bars, you got mine. No, this will only take a second. Your mother and I were talking about going up to the farm for Thanksgiving. Farm? Oh, that's a good idea. You two haven't been away by yourselves in a long time. We were talking about all of us going. Oh, fantastic. Oh, no, it's wait, gorgeous up there now. Hey, wait a moment. Do we own a farm? Willie does. Didn't know you were a man of property. Except for a boardwalk and park place, of course. Well, I am. My grandmother left it to me in her will, and it's great. It's beautiful Can't up there. you like that sort of thing? Dad, I don't Buddy, go. the majority will rule. Mrs. Bates has to come ahead. She and Lester can leave for Portland a few days early. Her nephew can come in and do the chores, so if you could make plane reservations. I'll call right now. Rent a car at the airport and drive right over. It'd be wonderful. Ah, Thanksgiving in the country. What could be better? Sounds fantastic. Out of all the families in Pasadena, why do I have to belong to one who's freaky about holidays? Personally, I consider it a bonus. I think it's a terrific idea. I've been wanting to get up to the farm for such a long time. Well, I'm sure that you have been, too. Okay, that's enough. Let's get back to the game. Now, somebody owes me $50. Pay up. Well, I'm the banker, but I'm in jail. Well, I'll steal it. to give up tickets to see Meatloaf at the Anaheim Stadium for this. Oh, you want to see Meatloaf, you don't have to go to Anaheim. You just have to open the refrigerator. But if you want to see deer... I don't. The deer, they used to come right up to the house to feed. Oh, it's wonderful. Ah. Oh, bless Hattie for knowing how much I love this place and wanting me to have it. Well, nothing's changed outside. From all reports, I thought it'd be in ruins. Oh, Americana at its best. I think I'm in love. <laughs> I wonder if we'll see any deer. You say that word one more time when I tell you. I think I'll put out some salt licks for them. Good idea. I'm gonna call Audrey. Audrey? You've only been gone a few hours, buddy. I know that. She's my only link to the outside world. In a few days, she'll love it just as much as you and I do. It's good to be home, isn't it? I knew we forgot to pack something. What? The dishwasher. Oh, 
Oh, shame on you, Mom. Give yourself a couple of days. Oh, how would you like to have some fresh cornbread? We just finished lunch. I know, but I just found Hattie's recipe. I think I'll give it a whirl. Whirl away. Oh! That's Buddy. Don't panic. That shriek is only Buddy's way of telling you that there's no hot water in the shower. Oh, she's forgotten. This hot water tank can only do one job at a time, and just now it's done the dishes. Well, but she's all soaked up. Tell her about the pioneers. You tell her. She's already showing signs of blow dryer withdrawal. I'll tell her and commiserate with her for many years of first-hand experience. Well, it looks as if you, Doug, and I are the only country mice in the family. Oh, no. Mom's just putting on an act. She grew up here. She loves every inch of this place. So do I. It's the name. Comedy's the game. Good week. What is it? Oh, Mrs. Bates says she was going to leave us an 18-pound turkey for Thanksgiving. I didn't realize she meant on the hoof. You mean... I mean, that must be 20 pounds. Anyway, it's spectacular, isn't it? Look at that breast. Boy, nice and plump. Plenty of white meat, huh? Yeah, he's almost good enough to eat. Almost. Oh, Doug. When is the best time to... Well, you know, um... Well, Thursday morning. Well, that'll give us enough time to uh, dress him, pop him into the oven. Thursday morning. And today's Monday. If you could count, you would be in a state of great anxiety. You must be Buddy. My aunt said the Lawrence's had a girl my age. I'm Dexter Bates. My aunt and uncle are the tenants here. They'd asked me to come around and do the chores while you folks are visiting. Lucky for him, they asked you and not me. <laughs> you live up here? Uh-huh. All the time? Well, seven days a week. Seven nights, too. I don't know how you do it. I'd go bananas. No, well, I'd go bananas anywhere else. Don't you like the country? Well, it's a little... We'll put it this way. It's a big weekend coming up. If I were in L.A., I'd have three parties to go to. A lot of dancing, music. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't like parties much. They're too crowded. And the, the music, that's yeah, just too noisy for me. If you don't like parties or music, what do you like? Well, I like him. I like your farm. Just being outside and the trees. I might even like you. If you weren't such a city slicker. Excuse me, I have to make a phone call to the city. Oh, my God. Call me a liar. <laughs> that is going to be perfection. Fresh cornbread. I remember you and Nancy used to devour it as fast as Hattie would make it. Oh, I wish Nancy could have come with us. Timmy! Timmy, love it. I'll get it. Uh, hello. Yes, she is. Uh, who's calling, please? Who? Just a moment, please. Is it Mr. Prettyman? Is you're expecting his call? That's right, thanks. Hello, Mr. Prettyman. Oh, yes, of course I remember. No, uh... Lester Bates said he'd ask you to call me. You did? That was fast. Tomorrow? Uh, yes, of course, that'll be fine. See you then. Mr. Prettyman, Prettyman isn't, isn't he the local real estate agent? Yes. Well, one of the reasons that we came up... Uh, I mean, um... 
before we left, we were going over just what it costs us to keep this place going. Well, Hattie made provisions for the upkeep of the farm in her will, didn't she? Yes, she did. But she didn't make provisions for the current inflation. Her capital is gone. I mean, the money we've been paying off of this farm has been coming out of our own pockets for quite some time now. No. No? That's my answer. You know, Hattie left this farm to me. Now, if you're trying to tell me you want to sell it, then the answer is no. We might have to consider it. I would like to know why you went ahead and contacted a real estate agent without telling me what you wanted to do. It was just an inquiry. So much has changed here in the last few years. You've changed so much. We thought once you got here... That... Well, you were wrong. A lot has changed. But my feelings about this place haven't. At all. Willie, there are certain practicalities. Yes, I'm sure there are, and I'm perfectly willing to discuss them. But I'd like to talk about how you could even think of selling, Mom. This place is more a part of you than any of us. Maybe it once was. Not anymore. You spent a large part of your life here. That doesn't mean I automatically love it. Oh, listen, Mom, I know you're trying to support Dad, and... It was my idea that we sell it. Well, you're my mother, but... That doesn't mean I automatically go along with you. I don't want to sell. You know, I wondered why Hattie left this all to me. I think I know now. She didn't trust you to keep this place. Well, she can trust me. Decades presents fantastic TV, hand-picked TV shows, ranging from cult classics to me, a.m. Eastern, 9.30 p.m. Pacific. Come on, peace machinery or we'll never fly. <laughs> that sounding stupid. What are you doing? I'm making a stomach lick. Oh, deer again. You're really crazy about those deer, aren't you? Well, see, Hattie loved them to come around. She'd put hay out in the winter so they'd come around her feet and they wouldn't starve. <clears throat> By spring, she'd have them eating out of her hand. When I drove her up here, the last time we saw them together, I'd just like to see them again. Before I sell the barn? Before I sell. Good morning. Hi. Oh, Dexter Bates, this is my brother, Willie Lawrence. This is Maude Bates' nephew. Hi. Hey, Dexter. Hey, putting in a solid, huh? Yeah. I haven't seen one around here for a long time. I'm gonna see if I can't get some deer to come around. Yeah, well, I wouldn't count on it these days. The deer are pretty skittish, and seems like every time a farm gets sold and the bulldozers move in, well, I guess a row of tract houses just doesn't look like friendly territory to a deer. No, I can understand that. It wouldn't to me either. Excuse me. Sure. Uh... Did I say something wrong? No, Willie's just a little upset right now. Mom and Dad want to sell the farm, and he doesn't. And ever since he heard about it, he's been wanting to see the deer again. Huh. Well, there, there is a chance I could get the deer to come back. Yeah, how? Well, there's a, a place up there in the woods. I'm pretty sure they feed there. I'm just thinking maybe I could get them to accept a better offer. You think you could? Well, it'd take a lot of time and patience. There you go. We should get started now, then. Me? You and me. The city mouse and the country mouse. It's us. That turkey is a good turkey. Come on, big bird. Big bird? Oh, I don't know what to call him. Charlotte. Charlotte? Yeah. He reminds me of my kindergarten teacher, Charlotte Harris. Ah, all right, come on. Come on, Charlotte. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, Charlotte. Come on, boy. Come on, baby. See, I told you, it's working. All right, yes, it is. Yeah. 
Mission accomplished. Charlotte, after lunch. I suggest you start digging a tunnel. Like Mr. Prettyman's here with a client. Pretty fancy car. Yeah, the local real estate agent. And it can't belong to a farmer unless he's bringing something extremely illegal. Well, Kate, John's wrote the place over. Thinks the land uh, is excellent. And Doug, uh, you remember Charlie? Oh, Charlie. Oh, good to see you, Doug. And his client, Mr. Watkins. Oh, Mr. Watkins, Thank pleasure. You. Mm -hmm. Did you see Willie? Uh, not since breakfast. No. I saw what you have here, Mr. Lawrence. I'm ready to make an offer. Uh, we're ready to hear one. I think you should know, though, the property actually belongs to our son. Oh, well, then I'll make the offer to him. He should be here in a few minutes. I'll wait. This was one of the finest dairy farms in the county, Mr. Watkins. Are you a dairy farmer? How do you think $65,000 would sound to your son? Like a lot of money, just as it does to me. Are you a dairy farmer, Mr. Watkins? No. Cattle? Uh, with all due respect, Doug, uh, Mr. Watkins isn't obligated to discuss what he's going to do with the farm once he's bought it. Oh, of course not. Well, maybe Mr. Watkins and I ought to push off. You can talk to your son and uh, tell him the price offered. Uh, 65000 You'll hear from us. Now, that's a generous offer. Yeah, we realize that. Well, now, you folks have a real nice Thanksgiving. Yes, thank you. You too. And say hello to your family, Charlie. Now, do try and stop by and see Laura. She's been asking about you. I will. <laughs> have a good holiday. Thank you, Gabe. Glad Willie wasn't here. Me too. It's a good price. I know. I'll talk to him when he gets back. No, I'll talk to him. After all, it's my idea. Fresh droppings over by that tree. Small prints over there seem pretty recent. Wait. How long? Well, if we want the deer to get back to the farm, we gotta find out where they're feeding. I know these woods pretty well. I'm thinking about becoming a forest ranger. Here? No, farther north. This place is already too crowded. The town's full of strangers. People are starting to lock their doors at night. I'd just like to be where I can sit, and not hear any noise or see any people. Won't you get lonely? Well, I hope by the time that I get there, I have a family. Deer may not show up today. Hmm. What do we do then? Well, we come back tomorrow. That is, if you want to. Yeah, I want to. <sighs> Willie? You know, it's really beautiful this time of day. Yes, it is. I have to call Charlie Prettyman. It's not fair to keep him waiting like this. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Watkins' offer is unacceptable to me. No one's ever will be acceptable. That's right. 
We simply can't afford to keep this place going anymore, Willie. You know that. Mr. Watkins' price is very good. Yes, I know. The offer is very good. And this place is a financial drain on you and Dad. You know, I've been sitting here trying to think of a way that I could manage the place on my own. But, of course, there is no way that I can. There's no damned way. So if you want to sell it, Mom, you just go right ahead. You've got my permission. I'm sorry, Willie. No, I really don't think you are sorry, Mom, and I'll tell you why. You know, you have been grousing about one thing or another ever since we got here. Whether it's the hot water or the antiquated this or the old-fashioned that. But what's troubling you? What went wrong between you and Hattie? I don't know that I can tell you. Come on, Mom. Okay, you're right. I'm not sorry about selling this place. I know that every room in this house has happy memories for you. Times you spent here with Hattie. It's not the same for me. Maybe we do have to sell the farm, but it seems to me you're pushing for it because you think if the house goes, everything left unsettled between you and Hattie will go too. You're wrong. No matter how much you want it to, it won't, Mom. And I'm sorry. I missed your dinner. Uh, I just wanted to drive around for a little while. Willie, I want to thank you for telling your mother it was all right to sell the farm. Of course, all the money will uh, go to you. Is it all right if we talk about that some other time, Dad? I remember Hattie telling me stories how her grandfather cleared and settled this land. She told me that if I looked very closely into these flames, that I could see him. <laughs> I remember when I stayed up here that summer after Hattie died, I built a fire in here every night, and I would write by the light. And I never felt alone. You know, Willie, we wouldn't sell this place if we didn't feel we really had to. I know. I'm all right about it, Dad. I am. But tell me something. Do you understand why it's so easy for Mom to let this place go? I think so. I think Hattie tried to make Kate leave the farm. Oh, I don't believe that. Hattie thought this was the best life there could be. Not for her. She wasn't so sure it was right for Kate. I think she uh, pulled away to force her to go. Make her investigate some other ways of life. Well, if you're right, it worked, because she certainly left here as quickly as she could. The result is this terribly unresolved feeling Kate has about Hattie. I hope she can work it out, because if she can't, I don't think she'll ever forgive herself for letting this place go. You sure you can? How are you, Charlotte? Charlotte? Remember what the cowboys say. Never name your horse, because someday you might have to eat it. The baker's dozen, 13. Oh. Somebody's gonna have bad luck. Guess it's gonna be you, Charlotte. Oh, thank you. This means breakfast in 20 minutes. I think he 
knows. Knows what? You know. No. He has no idea the sacrifice he's going to make for our culinary pleasure. He looks very nervous to me. Perhaps he can hear the whisper of the axe already. Annie! Come on, we better go into breakfast. Okay. What? I thought I heard him call my name. Since the deer aren't around, you think they'd mind if we ate lunch? Well, even if they do, I don't. <laughs> I brought a picnic. Well, yeah, fantastic. You know what, Else, I, I saw a weird-looking squirrel this morning. You know, it was probably a Douglas. He's about the most important creature in the woods. He's like a Johnny Appleseed. A squirrel that plants trees? Well, in a way. In the winter, when he stores his pine cones to eat in the spring, they uh, germinate, and some of them get left in loosely covered holes, you know, and presto, up comes another pine tree. Well, that's neat. That's the sound I heard this morning. Well, it's his show-off bark. The Indians used to use it to track the deer by. Well, you sure do know a lot. Yeah, well, <laughs> not about parties and dancing. Well, people have to have some faults. Especially a dumb country bumpkin. <laughs> not to mention a stuck-up city slicker. Oh, yeah? Hey, was it you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boy, it's pretty here. I could stay forever. Oh, yeah, may have to. The deer don't seem to be in a hurry to get here. That's okay with me. Could just lay here real quiet. Be part of the forest. I can't think of anything I'd rather do. You know, I had the most incredible dream last night. And you were in it. It was Christmas, and we were all sitting around the tree, opening presents. And I couldn't quite figure out whether I was in Pasadena or here, but then I looked outside the window, and I saw it was snowing. And then I knew we came up there. So that must mean that we're coming out for Christmas vacation. What's wrong? The farm's being sold, remember? You know, that's awful when you start getting used to things and caring about them. And then all of a sudden you have to let them go. Forever. Yeah, I know. Let's get out of here. It doesn't matter about the deer anymore. Or anything else. I'm on my way to pick some mushrooms. The best ones are on the other side of Tinker's Bridge. Oh, yeah. Mom. Well, stuffing's a flop without mushrooms, you know. I, I know. Mom, I just, I wanted to tell you something. I think I butted in where it was none of my business about you and Hattie. I think so, too. But, Willie, this will probably be the last time we're all up here together. So, let's, let's forget about yesterday and make it a nice holiday. That's just what I wanted to say. Good. Want to help me with mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I remember when I was little, we walked across this bridge. You used to tell me that when we came through on the other side, we'd be in paradise. You know, we were. Well, I remember that. It is one of the most beautiful fields around here, especially this time of year. In the morning, there's a mist over it. Watkins? Our land stops just before the bridge. 
He wants the farm because he wants to build all the way to the highway. Hattie would kill him. The farm, this place, is so much a part of it. I couldn't stand being here and not being able to talk to her. And now I've ruined it. I've lost her all over again. Turkeys are raised specifically for their food. Right. I mean, it's like a mink. They're raised specifically for their fur. I suggest that we proceed in silence. The more we talk, the worse it gets. Right. Look, Audrey. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'll be home soon enough, and then you can tell me all about it then, okay? Yeah, you too. Bye. Audrey says to have happy Thanksgiving. Oh. Fat chance. Oh, uh, now, buddy, I know how you feel, but Mom's feeling worse than any of us. So let's try and make this the best Thanksgiving we ever had, all right? It's not going to be easy. The well, worst thing I've ever been through. Charlotte just stood there looking at me. I think he had tears in his eyes. I didn't know I'd become so fond of him. Terrible. I guess we're just going to have to uh, make do with pumpkin pie. Then you didn't do it. Certainly not. Sorry. I know it leaves a big hole in our Thanksgiving dinner. Uh uh. Oh. Oh. Mom knows you too well, Dad. So it seems. She even started this morning. I hope he's not related to Charlotte. Yeah, well, the less thought about that, the better. You know, I better start cooking that or else we won't have it until Christmas. Where's Kate? Uh, she went out for a walk, I guess. Is she okay? She's putting on a good front. Like the rest of us. you'd be the first one to laugh if you could hear me say, I feel as if you're here. I made a mess of this, Hattie. This thing with Willie. I'm just the way I always was, you know. Leaping in with my eyes closed. I think I finally understand why you let me fill up with love for all this and then cut me off. I guess if you hadn't been so tough with me, I would never have left. I would never even have considered that there might be other worlds, other places for me to be. You didn't want me to love it just because you did. You wanted me to have it as part of my life. Not all of it. As it was all of yours. I'm not sure you went about that the right way, you know. I wish you could have explained the way you felt. But then that wouldn't have been you. I did love you a lot. And Dad, in this place. And for what I didn't say. And for what I've done. Forgive me, Mother. Not 
really. Was it the dam at first inside? Memories keep welling up. I can't seem to stop them. Why try? Because they hurt, that's why. It's all right. It's better. It's better than to keep everything hidden. Just wish it had happened sooner. I better go in and start the night. No, no. The kids are taking matters out of your hands. They're knocking themselves out. Everything's under control. Turkey's in the oven. Not Charlotte. Oh, by the way, he asked me to give you this. It's my little bird. He asked me to do the same. Stop by. I'm glad you did. I think I'll just go into the kitchen and check on the proceedings in there. Excuse me. Uh, I can't stay but a minute. We have dinner at four. Oh yeah, we do too. Um. Uh, you have some flour on your nose. Well, I was cooking biscuits in there. Is it gone? Yeah. I, I guess I just wanted to say goodbye again. And I, I brought you this. I made it from some things I found in the clearing where we waited. If you keep it moist, it should last for months. That's nice. Thank you. I just thought that when you're back in the city, you might pick it up now and then and give it a smell. Sort of think of the woods. I will. I promise. And not only will I think about the woods, I'll think about you. Thanks. Well, happy Thanksgiving, City Mouse. You too, Country Mouse. Does anyone mind if I open the door? No idea.
Candy loved them so. She never wanted them to feel frightened or unsafe here. I used to say responsibility for the land was like a fine chain that linked one generation to the next. You didn't have to add to the chain, but you weren't supposed to break it. I'd give anything to turn the clock back a few days, not be the one who did it. We haven't signed anything yet. I can call Charlie Prettyman. Oh, the expense. I know it'd be hard. Not half as hard as trying to find a place for all those deer in Pasadena. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, darling, surprise! How oh, we just couldn't stand up being here. I'm so glad you are. Look who's here. Oh, just for that time, too. Oh, look at that. Five more minutes, and Willie would have eaten everything. Oh, right to the table, here, sweetheart. Here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're grown about three inches. That's the phone book. You. How did you get here so fast? Well, we took a noon plane. And caught the only taxi. All right. These are these are. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Oh, I hope you're hungry, Jimmy. Oh. I'm so glad I came. I'd forgotten how lovely it is up here. I think we all had. Doug, uh, would you mind if I said grace this year? At Thanksgiving, when I was young, in the old days. After my father said the blessing, my mother would talk a little about the farm and its history and how wonderful it was that we were all together in this place. And it was. I want to give thanks for my father and mother, for all of you. And for our first Thanksgiving with Annie give thanks the way we always have. Do you remember? You better. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here. 